the burpees just we're just doing one push up two push ups three four five all the way up to ten and we go from ten back down to one gets the blood flowing get your mind right it creates momentum so the rest of your day is easy and if you do hard stuff in the beginning of your day the rest of your day no matter what comes at you it's a lot easier so the burpee routine is a good way to get your heart going too because you can do weight training but you're not getting your heart going as much as you want to it's much harder for me to get myself in shape cardio wise and then strength wise strength wise you can kind of pace yourself and build up slow cardio you can't cheat the hustle if you haven't been if you haven't been running or keeping your breath right it's harder to just cut the corner and you know try to make do with it you're either in shape cardiovascular wise or you're not so it's good for your heart good for your mind good for the soul man gotta wake up and do it i don't do it every day but we're getting to that point and the days i do do it are always better days because if you're running a business or you got problems that come your way and you got things you got to solve every day it's much easier when you build that momentum early in the day and then it's kind of coast the rest of the day so it's good to do something hard in the morning do this before you go and get your workout in um do some other things too meditate read journal if you want prayer um and i like to visualize too i like to think about a perfect day in the future what my life's gonna look like and from morning until i go to sleep i visualize what that day is gonna look like and i repeat that day every single day um, it's the same day and maybe it's five years out maybe it's ten years out but what my life's gonna look like where I'll be who I'll be around and what I'm doing that entire day I visualize that same day that same process every single morning and then when you close your eyes you're manifesting it visualizing it in your head and then when you open your eyes you got to believe it's really gonna happen so it's a three-step process you see it you believe it then you can achieve it so it's powerful to start your mornings out with a routine that primes you for the day. So when bullshit comes your way or anything comes your way that you're not expecting, you're ready for it. You don't overreact. You got control of your emotions. You don't let your emotions control you. It's a big part of life. Um, now we're gonna go get some work in. John Reed Fitness. Me and Josh are gonna sign up. I went there on a guest pass already. I like the gym. I like to switch it up and being that we're going to the gym so much now, I wanna keep some variety in there so that we can um, stay focused, you know, stay in tune with what we're doing, meet new people, be in new areas, and see new things. So John Reed Fitness, they got a location out here in downtown LA. They also got one in Dallas, and they also got one in Prague. And I was just telling Josh before this, we definitely gotta to go to Prague, we're gonna work out there. It's definitely a goal of ours to travel around the world, work out, align with people that are doing the same thing, that see this, the importance of the same things, and uh, just keep creating, doing dope shit. So stay tuned, we're gonna ride up to John Reed Fitness. Josh and I are gonna sign up, we're gonna get a workout. It's gonna be back, traps, buys, and abs, I think, today. Um, yeah, let's get it done, man. You know what it is, I'll see you guys up there. What the fuck hell? Get a quick tour of the John Reed Fitness downtown LA location. All right, so we're gonna start with hot machine wide grip pull down. We're gonna do five sets to failure. It's like a minute in between each set. Make sure it's like 60 seconds. You don't wanna wait around too much. You don't wanna be caught on your phone too damn much. Keep the pump going. You wanna get the blood in there and keep it in there. Um, and, then, and if it's too easy and you're doing too many, make sure you go up and wait. Now we're gonna do four sets of bent over rows. We start high reps, then we work our way down. So we'll do 20, 15, 10, then eight. You gotta feel that one. You gotta feel it. I like switching up the gyms because even just this workout, I know Josh can feel it right now. It's high energy in here, high frequency. It's Friday, we're in LA with John Reed Fitness and we're getting that work in. It's still early, 10 a.m. right now. But it feels like 
could be the fucking weekend. Could be nighttime right now. Feels like we're partying almost. But we're in here getting working, so it's a good feeling. If you want to get multiple gym memberships, change the scenery up, it'll definitely keep you motivated and make sure that you keep hitting the gym. So that's one dope thing about being somewhere like LA. They got a lot of different options. And John Reed actually has a location in Prague. This is where this gym originated from, it's overseas. So Josh and I, you know it's only right. We gotta go out there and check it out. So stay tuned. We will be hitting up the Prague location soon, for sure. So now we go for 10 reps. We go like 60 to 90 seconds in between the bigger compound movements, you wanna give yourself a little more time. So 60 to 90 seconds is a good point. Even if we go 90 seconds right here, it's a big compound movement, we'll be good. But you don't wanna go over that because you're doing more harm than good. You wanna, you wanna keep the pump, you wanna keep the blood flow to the muscles that you're working. All right, then we're gonna go to cable, seated, close grip rows. On this one, we're gonna do higher reps, 25 reps, 20 reps, and 15 reps. Get more blood flow to the back. I want my back to be totally locked and open, chest open. On these, we're doing less rest between sets, but it's not, a, it's not as much of a compound movement. Get your form down. Don't even worry about the weight. Weight doesn't matter at all. It's about consistency, showing up, and just getting your form down so you don't get injured. That's the biggest part. If you get injured, you can't come, you can't stay consistent, lose all your results. Go, baby. It's about consistency and discipline. That's what working out is gonna help you with. And it's getting in here early, like I said, building that momentum. You do all the hard stuff in the beginning of your day, the rest of the day is simple, no matter what happens. We're doing machine seated reverse flies. Bring your back. All right, we're gonna go 25, 15, and 10. You wanna sit even too with your back, because if you go too high, you're mainly working shoulders. You wanna sit even and make sure you get your lats. We're gonna finish it off with biceps. 25, 25, 20, 20, then 15. Same nigga breaking down holes left and right. Yo, I was counting up it on the pocket yeah. flight. Yo, I'm burning out. Burning out, burning out. One more set. Then we're gonna go to uh, dumbbell hammer curls. It's one of my favorite exercises. All right, made it to the end. Now we're gonna do dumbbell bicep curls. Um, we're gonna go 25, 20, and then another set of 20. So three sets, last part of back traps and buys. Then we're gonna go on to abs. And that'll be it, you all completed the workout. All right, so we're gonna finish off with abs. We're gonna do crunch. We're gonna do lying straight leg raise. We're gonna do a sit up, a full sit up. And then we're gonna do bicycle crunches. We're gonna do five rounds, each movement a failure. You can do more, do more. You can't do that many. Do as many as you can. So five rounds. We go back to back to back. We really don't stop and just burn the abs up the end of the workout. Core is super important so you don't hurt yourself, injure yourself. Every muscle movement you're doing, you're using your core whether you know it or not. So you can't skip abs. You got to do abs. Best part of the workout is walking out of the gym knowing you did the full workout. You didn't cut any corners. You didn't take any shortcuts. You didn't cheat yourself. And uh, now you get to treat yourself. You get a smoothie, a nice meal, whatever, because you earned it. The dues are paid. And what better place to do it than a John Reed Fitness right here in downtown LA. Dope ass gym. I give it like a, like a 8 out of 10, right? Yeah. 8 out of 10, maybe 8.5 out of 10. You know what it is, man. It's Powered by Pack. Follow us along for the journey at Powered by Pack on Instagram. Make sure you're following the TikTok, Powered by Pack, and soon to come, PoweredbyPack.com, coaching program, lifestyle, fitness, and mindset. Everybody stay tuned. We appreciate you guys. Make sure you drop a like, run the comments up, and subscribe if you haven't. You already know what it is. We out. Peace.